Hello, Moreau. Hello, my boy. since nope can't hold it in any longer bathroom time like the shower is playing up. <laughs> is that a... Hello? Are you okay in there? Hey, it's okay if you're sad, but just tell me if you need medical attention. No, I'm not ill. Secretary? Is that you? Or one of you? It's me, Secretary 24. <laughs> no, I'm not Secretary 24 anymore. I'm um, no one. Oh no, what happened? I've, after Clockgate, all water needed <laughs> to show culpability. And so, I was fired. I've been scapegoated. What? What? But for what? Surely you didn't have anything to do with anything. I know, but, but it's happened anyway. They used that one disciplinary action I had on my file from years ago as an excuse. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Was my career a total waste? All that time, and then just discarded like a used tube ticket. It makes me realize the only people who are really there for you, who are truly loyal, are your family. Well... You have a lot of that, at least, right? Yes, that's true. But me and my brothers aren't as close as we used to be. We used to do so much together. Such fun stuff. Well, maybe now you have the time. Yes. Yes, you're right. We should get our a cappella group back together. Mend the rift at last. Warren was right. There is more to life than a steady job. You should do it. Use this new lease of life to solve the feud. I will. You'll see, it's time for a new me. Great. So, now you're no longer a secretary, what should we call you? I'll just stick to 24. Why fix what isn't broken, right? Oh, right. Okay, go get him, 24. Thank you for listening, whoever you are. It's me, Mr. Halib... I mean, Harold. Well then... Thank you, Harold. You'll always be a bathroom buddy to me now. Destination determined. Now, 
Relax with all water. Thank you for traveling with all water. Ciao, Chris. Ciao, Harold. What's that you've got there? Ooh, is it for me? Well, yes, actually. It's something old, but hopefully you'll still enjoy it. How mysterious. <laughs> well, hand it over. Let's see what the mystic ways of fate have brought me. Chris, it was a pleasure to speak to you about spirituality, cosmic oneness, the relationship between religion and science. And also, I must thank you for your workout tips. I am already seeing measurable improvements in my grip strength and that is a Dorsey definition. I agree that it would be a shame to let matters such as this go by the wayside, despite our community's scientific mission and focus. So as promised, please find attached a number of clippings and notes that will hopefully aid you in your search for understanding and a new signature look. Science Spiritually, yours. From Lecture on Cosmology and Religion by legendary cosmologist Marty Rees. The church is part of my culture, the rituals, the music, the community, and the compassion. And if I had grown up somewhere else, I would have gone to a mosque or a synagogue for the same things probably. It seems to me that people who attack religion don't really understand it. Of course, bad people do bad things in a good religion's name, but they would do bad things under any name. Science and religion can coexist peacefully, although I don't think they have much to say to each other. From the esoteric research article by the anonymous self-confessed mystic stylist, the relationship between both style and spirituality is not often explored much to the detriment of both spiritual enlightenment and personal beauty. Many monastic devotees, for example, will shave off their hair, claiming minimalism and humility as a way of removing barriers to spiritual growth. But why do we associate Jesus with his flowing locks? Looking glam is surely in no way an impediment to feeling glam. The ultimate glam of the universe. The glam that connects us all. Fantastic. This is great stuff. I always wonder why she never followed up. So, they're all clippings about finding enlightenment? Were you looking for a religion to follow at the time? Well, not a religion per se, but something that would help explain my feeling that there were things science couldn't explain or express. I'm still, and will always be looking, I suppose. So this is great inspiration. Thanks so much for bringing it back to me, Harold. No problem. Oh, and, uh... Not that it's important, but how did you come by this? I was helping Buddy with some old mail that had got stuck in the all-water system. Thank him for looking after it all, all this time. Ah, Buddy. Such a true soul. Anyway, I'm going to meditate on this. Thanks again, Harold. Okay, everyone, listen up. Welcome to Green Thumb Class. You may be wondering what Green Thumb Class is and why you're here at Green Thumb Class. Well, this was originally going to be a private seminar to discuss safe handling of the particles that make up the energy source based on our findings, most of which were my findings, may I add, especially the sound wave element, which... Get on with it, Sai! 
yes, yes, sorry. But then we decided it might be fun to open it to the public as a kind of general botany 101. So here you all are, and thank you for coming. Here are some tips for all of you on handling things with green thumb status, which includes the energy particles as well as general flora around the cave. Number one, exert minimum pressure. The cells of these particles and anything else you encounter down there could be incredibly sensitive. Number two, check for root-like material. If taking any samples, keep them as intact as possible, taking care not to sever anything. If you must take a sample, take it from as close to the end of the root as possible. Number three, keep well lit and warm. We still don't know exactly what combinations of environmental factors is preferred by whatever is down there, but we can surmise it's similar to how it already is. For example, if you find something in the dark, don't shine a bright light on it. Any questions? Sai, what happens if you eat the particles? Um, we don't know. Ingesting or inhaling anything down there is not advised. Is there a danger of the particles being shocked by environment change? Very good question. It's possible, but from what we can tell, they can handle a small degree of ambience change. Can plants think? Can plants, uh, uh, not in the way we can. They don't have nervous systems, of course. But then what does it mean to think? After all, it's just a- Kill it! Follow these basics, and I'm sure we won't have any green thumbs falling off. Harold, those are the essentials, but I'll be staying here to discuss the specifics of boron deficiency in cruciferous veg if anyone is interested in sticking around. Right. For those of you who stuck around, this is going to be a wild ride. Oh, I suppose the house party has started. Well, I'm sure it won't be more fun than my lecture, but it'd be a shame to miss it. Professor, hey. Harold, my boy. How are you, you, you know, feeling? Oh, fine. I'm not worried about a thing. You know, I kind of wish I could go with you. Wouldn't it be fun? Oh, well, yeah, it'd be great. Are you sure you can't? <laughs> with this age and my arm, <laughs> I think not. Oh, I'm sure we could. We, you and I would... You're not that old. Yada, yada, blah, blah. <laughs> Stop trying to make me feel better. I'm just happy we get to experience this, even if I don't actually get to see it. Even if I don't actually get to see it. Yeah. And we wouldn't even be getting to see it if it wasn't for you. Hmm. Can I get you another drink? <laughs> I'd probably better not. Okay. Well... It's okay, Harry. I'm okay. Go have fun. But not too much fun. We've got a real slip tomorrow. Thanks, Moreau. See you later, then. Harold, my man. Ha! Hey, sorry. Are you okay? Never better. 
responsible for a secret relaunch procedure that everyone is dependent on, my friend is about to descend into the depths of an unknown alien cave thing to get the energy we need for it. <clears throat> what could there be for me to worry about? I see. Well, you don't have to worry about me. Wii U will look after me down there. Maybe I'm worried for Wii U. <laughs> It'll be okay, Sai. All of you, all of us, can do as our best, right? Right. I'll worry as best I can. That's not what I meant. It's okay, man. We'll all be okay. It was just me. Maybe not. But with Bridget, Moreau on side, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Yes, exactly. Cheers, Cyrus. Oh, hi, Harold. Hello, Yappa. How are you feeling? I'm not drunk if that's what you're insinuating. Oh, no. I just meant after all the all water stuff. Hmm. Yeah, that was frustrating. I really thought we were onto something. Well, you were. It's actually pretty amazing what you managed to figure out from scratch. Hmm. But we had it all wrong. Yeah, but for a bunch of non all water employees with limited resources, you got so much right. And maybe it forced the CEO into thinking about how they were doing things. Hmm. So you're saying we might not have produced a full scale expose and regime change? Oh, he might have been agent provocateurs giving rise to a procedural review? Yes, totally. Interesting. You know, once you're back from the mission, you should drop by the hideout again. You can tell us all about it. Thanks, Yava. I promise to swing by. Well, good luck, comrade. Until next time. Wii U! Are you enjoying the party? What? Yes. I think so. But I don't really understand what makes it a party. Well, you know, uh, people have gathered for a special occasion to celebrate. But we haven't gone anywhere yet. No, but it's for good luck and to raise our spirits. I'm not sure I really get it, especially the strange movements people are making. They don't usually move like that. Movements? Huh. Oh, you mean dancing. It's, hmm, I guess an expression of letting go, enjoying a rhythm. Ah, I like it. But only an outside musical rhythm? Yes, at least when other people are watching anyway. Well, I don't totally understand the rules, but it's nice to see everyone smiling. Yes, it is. It'll be even nicer when we come back with a magical new energy source and everyone treats us as heroes. Heroes? Yeah, it's a, a person who's admired and treated with a lot of respect. We're not heroes already. Heck, you're my hero, buddy. It's all very weird, but I'm excited if you are. I'm sure we'll have lots of stories to tell at the next party. I'm sure we will. I'm going to chat to some of the others, but make sure to get some rest. Okay. Party time. Hey there, Sonny. Hey, Harold. You excited? I guess so. It'll be different. You know, I'm proud of you. I always knew you were goof, <laughs> and you are. But I did always secretly think you'd figure out how to do something cool one day. Hey. Ah, oh, come on. I didn't mean it in a bad way. Maybe I was never as much of a goof as you thought. I know, I know. I even kind of envy you a bit.
No need. It all started by chance, though, really. Maybe, but you know, it's your cosmic consciousness that helps your luck to happen, you know? Anyway, I'm glad it was you that met the fish folk first. Huh. Don't you like fish? No, it's just... If it was anyone else... I just think you were the right man for the job. And you're going to be the right girl for the job. Whatever the job is. Come tell me how it all went, huh? When you're back. For old time's sake. Sure. Wish me luck? Always. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. understand why you're going down the crack with Wii U. But we think we appreciate it, so we got a few things together for you. Hopefully you'll find them useful and or delightful. As a human. Yes. We're still not really sure how your kind thinks, but we've tried our best. Oh, wow. You all... I'm so flattered. You shouldn't have. Go on. Open it. Oh, okay. Let's have a look-see. Oh, this looks great. A nice little fish. Is the fish not big enough for you? No, no, no. It's perfect. Thank you. Okay. Up next. Some hairpins? Yes. We were told by Chris that these things come in very useful. Where are you now? I mean, thank you. Oh, there's something else in here. I think you're going to love this one. A rubber hammer. In case I see any molds I need to whack. I'll have it if you don't want it. No, 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 it's all great. Thank you. Now I'm prepared for anything. Good luck, Harold. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Hey, Wii U? Howl? What is the difference between Oobble Pops and Oobla Boops? You see, Oobble Boops and Oobble Pops are actually not similar at all. One is like a bubble, and the other is like a bubble made to pop. More for fun, uh, not useful.
Huh. Home at last. Wait. How did I get here? I don't remember. And I don't remember leaving it like this. Has someone been in here? It wasn't me. Felix, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing, bub. This is my room. But how do you really know that? Felix, I don't have time for your shenanigans right now. I feel like there's something important I should be doing. I need some space to think, okay? Sorry. Nah, it's okay. You're right, Harold. There is something important you should be doing. I'm glad you agree. Wait, what? D do you know what it is? Nope, that's for you to find out. All I can do is point you in the right direction. The right direction isn't through a load of ducts, is it? No, no ducts. Just go through there and follow your heart. Okay. Yeah. Don't feel sleepy anyway. Thanks, Felix. Good luck, Harold. Hope I never see you again. ever wonder about what uh, no it's stupid i shouldn't even bother you with it you can tell me anything it's just are you sure you want to tell me no i don't know maybe hmm? i just wonder have i been useful at all what have i really done this whole time people have only given me stuff to do when they haven't been bothered to do it themselves has there been anything that only I was able to do? So you're helpful. What's bad about that? You make the lives of everyone around you easier. But anyone could do that. I don't think they would give you things to do if they didn't trust you. Maybe. I suppose. 
But what if we're all doing the wrong thing anyway? Like what? Eating jam instead of wieners? <laughs> no, I mean, that's just personal taste. So, what can be a wrong or a right thing? I don't know. Where's home? Is there a wrong or right place for home? Maybe the fedora is fine down here. What if taking off is the worst thing that we could do? How do you decide anything? It's all so complicated with you humans. Unless... Are we too simple? How does anyone trust they're making the right decision? About anything? I don't know. Maybe we can't know. So why think? But if we don't worry at all... Hmm. Ah. It's nice. You can do it just like that? Hmm. Unless... Maybe... Maybe... The whole point of not being sure is that it keeps your options open. If we were sure about everything straight away, we'd never change our minds. No, we would just be a fish swimming in one direction, following the current, happy, but probably missing out on most of the ocean. That's blugalugalugal. I see now. So, true blugalugal is being happy within uncertainty. Oh. I didn't think of it like that before, but I like it. So, have you tried jam on a wiener? <laughs>